My name is Sula and I'm a college student from Germany. I'm 20 years old and I'm a co-founder of the Uyghur Youth Initiative. I'm Esma, 19 years old. I'm Uyghur and I'm from Germany, Frankfurt, and I'm also the co-founder of the grassroots organization named Uyghur Youth Initiative in Germany. What we do is we organize campaigns, protests, poetry slams, workshop for our participants, for our members. We were focusing on mobilizing the youth in Germany, but also ally youth in Germany. It's really important for us to reconnect with our culture and with our identity. For me personally, growing up as an Uyghur in the diaspora, it was always really hard to connect with my identity and culture. I have like such a privilege growing up here in Europe. I have access to free education. I was born as a free human being, so basically I just have human rights. And then I realized that a lot of people in my family don't have that. And that is something that made me realize I have to use my privilege, I have to raise awareness, I have to raise my voice for the people who also have voices, but there's just being repressed by China, basically. It's not that easy, but we always try to remember ourselves, why we're doing this and for who we're doing this. So there definitely have been like a lot of Chinese spies visiting our protests regularly. There has been a movement of Uyghur people joining protests with a mask on their faces just to protect their faces from being identified so they can protect their families. We hope that there's peace in the world, there's justice in the world, especially we hope that Uyghurs can live their religion freely and their live their culture freely, they can fast in Ramadan, they can pray when they want to pray, and uh, most importantly, the families will be reunited. The biggest thing that everyone can do is raise awareness about the cause, because there's still a lot of people who don't know about the issue. Raise awareness on social media, talk with your families about it, go to your schools and ask if you can present them the cause. And also you follow up what is happening right now. Are there new political prisoners? Are there new causes? Are there anything, uh, any new information databases like the Xinjiang police files? We think it's important to focus on the fact that there are human beings dying right now. And it's not about them being Muslims. It's not about them being Uyghurs. It's not about them being a Turkic minority. It's about being human and so I think every human out there, especially if you're young, can help us raise our voice together. We are really active on every social media platform. We got Instagram, we got TikTok and Twitter. Or check out our website, urbuyouth.de. At the UNEP program, we learned a lot about the UN mechanisms and how to use them as a human rights defender. But the second and I think a more important thing is here in this UNEP program, we met inspiring people with really emotional and powerful backgrounds and stories why they got into these human rights issues. And I feel like this is something we learned a lot about. What we also have learned is so much about the UN system and how it works and lobbying, advocacy. Because we've been focusing on grassroots mobilization for the past year. And now it's like a whole new perspective. And it showed us that everything is so accessible. If you really want to do something, you can just go and really advocate for your cause and then it's really amazing. It was really helpful because everything was explained really detailed and it was really interactive also, which made it a lot more fun to engage with such a complex topic. Also, we had a lot of guest speakers who helped us a lot by getting new perspectives from different human rights defenders. So thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you so much for having us here.